Hi and welcome to LightYourComputerTrade.com's video tutorials. In this video we're going to be going over stochastics. Our stock EA uses a technical study of the behavior of stocks called the stochastics indicator. If you were to take a look at a chart of any given time period and have the stochastics indicator turned on, like I do here, you would notice that the movement of the indicator corresponds with the actual price movement of the stock. So you can see here that it's low, and so is the stock. As it gets higher, the stock climbs. And as the stock falls, so does the stochastics indicator. If you would like to see how the stochastics are used to determine when to buy or when to sell, or would like more details on the nature of stochastics, please take a look at our user's guide. You can have the stochastics indicator turned on if you'd like when running our program, but you don't necessarily have to have it on. Our stock A program can run without it turned on, but in case you did want to turn it on, here's how you would do it. Let's first go to a chart that doesn't have it on. The first thing you're going to do is go to the navigator window, which is here, and maximize the custom indicators tab. Scroll down until you see stochastics. What you're going to do is you can either double click on stochastics or you can drag and hold it onto the chart of your choice. This will open the stochastics window where you can set the values of the stochastics indicator. First go to inputs and double click on the K period. Let's change it from 5 to 14. Let's leave the others at 3 for now. Next, let's go to the Levels tab and let's add two level lines. So click Add once to create the first one and let's make it for 20. Let's add another one for 80. These two numbers that you've just added or these two levels correspond to the low threshold and the high threshold. We've made one for 20 so that's going to be our low threshold and we've made another for 80 so that's our high threshold. You can change these settings as much as you'd like so that you can test the effect of doing so on your trading as you become more experienced. Do this in your practice account. After all that's what it's there for. Use the demo period to try and find that perfect match of CFDs and parameters. Once you're done, click OK, and you will see that the chart now has this indicator added to the bottom of the screen. This does not actually start any automated trading, but it does give you a visual of the price movement. So as you can see here, the low threshold is 20, so it's drawn a line of 20. This is 0 on the bottom, high threshold of 80, and 100. That's pretty much it for this video. Our next video will be dealing with backtesting and trying different set files. Please remember that if you'd like a more detailed look at anything we've gone over, check out the user's manual or use the forum to ask any questions. Thanks. See you next time.